We're making a movie. We're making a movie. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Clone Training Center Behind the Scenes. Uh, thank you so much for all watching the last one. I'm hoping you're enjoying them. And keep coming back for more because there's going to be more coming. And I'll let you know when I'm getting close to uploading the first episode so I can keep you guys in the loop. So, what I'm going to show to you today is another set in the Clone Factory um, because I think it uh, demonstrates a couple good principles. Uh, so what this is, is like as I explained in the last video, uh, the clones are built and then one of the first things that they have to do is they have to learn how to walk. And as you'll see in the episode, bit of a spoiler, that's not the easiest thing in the world. They have to kind of learn how to walk. And this shot is demonstrating that fact. Basically what's going to happen is I'm going to go down the line and you're going to see uh, the clones kind of struggle to walk and they're going to be frustrated and all sorts of things. So there's a couple things going on with this set. First of all, as you can see, it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot going on here. I've got basically a hallway with some conveyor belts in the back and over there it's not even built because honestly, I'm not going to see it. And that's the point that I wanted to bring up is only bring, or only build what the camera is going to see. Um, if you've seen Nathan Wells tutorials, that's going to sound familiar because he has some really good tutor tutorials on set building. And that's one of the things that he touches on is if you're only going to see this much of the set, focus, dude, if you're only going to see this much of the set, then only build that much of the set. You don't need to build like this huge, massive thing if you're only going to see a little tiny part of it. Um, and I've done that with this set. And even with like these little contraptions. I only have two here because I'm only going to see two at a time. Um, and as the camera goes this way, uh, I can move this one and put it over here and just kind of keep going on. And I'll do that with the walls too. I can uh, take these walls and move them over to the next one and give the impression that this room is a lot bigger than it is. So that's kind of the first principle I wanted to bring up is only build what the camera is going to see. Uh, this is really important so you don't spend too much time building sets, uh, especially for people like me who are not terribly good at building sets. It's really handy. Uh, so the next thing I wanted to say is I wanted this shot to be like a dolly shot, which means that I wanted the camera to kind of move from right to left uh, as the shot goes on. And there's kind of two different ways of doing that. You can either try to move the whole camera, which in my case is connected to a tripod. And I've done this before and sometimes it works, but in general, it's pretty hard to do to get a nice smooth movement. Or the other thing you can do is you can move the set. As you can see, I have this little plate down here, uh, which is basically what I'm going to use to move my set against so I can move it straight and smoothly and I can just basically move it along that plate and I get a nice smooth movement as you can see. So what I'm going to do is kind of treat this like a frame by frame video that I've done in the past is I'm just going to show you the full speed version of the shot and then I'm going to slow it down frame by frame so you can get an idea of the small little movements that go into making a shot like this.
So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks again for watching. Uh, one more thing before you leave this place. Uh, as some of you may have noticed, I've been trying to adhere to a bit of a schedule as far as my uploads go. I'm trying really hard to upload uh, every two weeks. And just, just so you know, the schedule I'm following is to upload on the second and fourth Friday of every month. So you might notice that today is the fourth Friday of February. So my next video is going to come out on the second Friday of March. So two weeks from now. And the videos are going to be uh, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I'll keep going with that. And frame by frames or actual episodes of Clone Training Center when they're ready. And some other little small animations thrown in, thrown in here and there uh, to keep you guys entertained. So... Make sure that you come back every second Friday, the second and fourth Friday of every month for more videos from me. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Peace!